I've been handed this opportunity together with an amazing team and uh, um, to fill in the, uh, the huge footsteps of Michal. But I, I'm really honoured and, and excited to take on this role uh, and to, to take the foundation that has been set and just uh, grow on it. And also, in, in parallel to this, working very closely with our esteemed media, who is a significant part of the success of our business as well. So, um, normally when they announce new CEOs, you kind of wait three months and you wait, okay, fine, now let's see what the CEO is going to change. Um, and the, that's, that's normally how the cycles work. The, the counter for this in this case, I think, is I've been part of the strategy that we've set ourselves out to do. So it's for me more of an opportunity to say the strategy and the direction we have taken is the right one. How do we build on this? How do we um, learn from this, improve, grow and, and innovate ourselves further? So um, in, in that fashion and with that um, spirit, I'm taking over from Michal to say what's next on what we've done. And, and it's, a, it's an exciting journey because Michal pulled in a lot of the stuff. So he's challenging the team, myself and the team, to come up with very new innovative ideas. And that's exactly what we plan on doing. So if we talk in, in the same way as Michal start with the most important part of our business, which is our people, Michal alluded to it that besides the, the top employer award that we just recently last week received, um, our, our goal is to go to level two triple B double E, um, and we, we really understand and support and believe in the significance of this. Uh, and it has actually transformed our business because of this commitment we've given. Part of it um, is the educational side that we can contribute to, and I think it is crucial. We all know there's a lot of ways that you can contribute into this com country, but I think education is for us the key. Um, and, and contributing into them, growing on what we've done and, and evolving that is, is part of our goal for, for the future. And then coupled with that, Michal mentioned the YES student program and I think when we initially started with it, we weren't really sure about it, um, uh, but it's what you make of it. And I can tell you the difference of the quality of these young people we've brought into our business. Um, firstly, it brought a very traditional commercial vehicle, male dominant environment, bringing in youth that has a different perspective than one student. And I can tell you that the, the task that we had was to absorb these people, and it is actually not even a task for us, it's an opportunity. The people that we have already managed to absorb from the ES program into our business is, is just a significant change. And uh, we will continue on this basis because we're growing our youth, which is the future for us, but at the same time, we are also benefiting from, from this as a company, getting in these young talents. Uh, if you look at our plant, um, I always joked, uh, in the past, normally you don't put sales and production next to one another, normally in two different boardrooms, if you have to be honest. Um, we changed that uh, about five, six years ago. And um, we call ourselves partners in crime, and Gladstone stands next to me, and it is exactly that, because if his team doesn't have the passion and motivation to build quality products I can sell them. So we built a very strong relationship and understanding and we are on the same goal to deliver a, a, a phenomenal uh, you know, product to our market so that we can keep Africa moving. And we continue on this basis, uh, over 300 employees currently in the plant um, employed there and the investment that we will continue to do is exactly to, to grow the, the plant in East London and to also look at opportunities of how we can grow the business within South Africa and maybe even support um, additional services in the future. So um, a vital part of our business and also probably one of the strengths that we have having a local security plant in, in South Africa. If we look at the sales and marketing, and normally when it's Track Media launches, everybody says what you're launching. So hopefully you're not launching me. Um, <laughs> we, are on, we are still on the, the trajectory to introduce products where we need them. It's always been our strategy to evaluate the market that is ever changing. I mean, you would know this almost better than me, that the market is consistently changing. The needs of the trucks on our roads are changing. And we constantly evaluate our portfolio to service those needs. So there will be some introductions coming in the year and be on the lookout for these invitations to join us when we launch these products um, in general. 
to support the, the, the portfolio that we have for the greater southern region that we look after. Apart from that, um, I was speaking to, to Colin and, and Pia, uh, e-mobility is part of our strategy and we will be launching officially. We've mentioned this before, we said we were looking into e, but we are officially launching e-mobility into the country this year. Uh, you will be invited to the product launch of this. And uh, the reason why we are, are delaying a little bit is we want to show you the entire portfolio in its ready form. Uh, and the, I think what, what, what's most important, and we've realized is I think we had some conversations a few years ago, I think, uh, Patrick, and they asked me some tough questions then. And I'll probably have to look at this and say there's a lot of learnings that's happened in the two years since we have said we are bringing it into the country. And e-readiness is our key for this year. We are ready now. We are bringing the trucks to market and we are then ready to support our customers if they want to transform into e. Which is, I think, a journey for all of us that we will take in this year. <laughs> Lastly, um, on the sales and marketing sales side as such, um, we, we talk about our use truck business in, in the sense of that. The, the word use, right? But in the end, I can tell you now if I don't have a robust use vehicle, use vehicle business, I cannot sell a new vehicle. We all know this, that those trucks need to go in somewhere and then be moved out somewhere. And our use truck business has literally, for the five, far, far, past five years, grown every year. And our intention is to grow a new vehicle side, which inevitably means we need to grow on the use vehicle side as well. And I think when we talk use trucks, in particular, they play a significant role in our neighboring countries um, as well. And the uh, Tabo leading the truck store brand together with me will then look into strengthening this brand and its sales growth uh, into the future as well. Then uh, if we talk about uh, the value chain, and I, I was asked this question also a couple of years ago, what makes you unique? There's all, all the trucks on the road are almost similar. Um, seven of us come from the same region even. Uh, so what, what makes you different? And I think, again, I'll say that the, and when we talk about the trucks, it is about the full value chain that we offer. A customer can walk in and walk out and actually service his entire business. From the truck to the service contract, to the, the to telematic systems, to the um, extended warranty, the driver training, and um, truck store, as well as our financial services, our in-house finance house. And I think, um, it, it's said very lightly sometimes in these conferences, but if I had to say to you the invaluable contribution that our finance house does with us as a key enabler to sell drugs and service our customers, um, uh, it has to be said. Uh, they are not only a service provider in a way or a partner to our customer, they are a partner to our business. We sit right next to one another, so we, we're really entrenched in, in looking after our customer with the full solution. and. Uh, the big benefit is they are dedicated commercial vehicle finance house. So they fully understand our business and our customers' needs. And, and this has really come a long way and we will just continue to build on the strength of this relationship and, and offering it to our customers together with the full value chain. 